Tuya who sit here with VK Consulting. And today, October 20th, and let's look at Section 8 waiting list application for the Los Angeles. Section 8 uh, waiting list has not been open for really five years, and now it's open again. And let's look at this application, who is eligible, what days you can apply, and let's apply together. Once you go to hakla.org, it brings you to a homepage. And on this homepage, scroll down to I want to, and click on apply for section eight waiting list. And let's look. So section eight opens, waiting list for section eight opens October 17, this Monday, and it will be open until Sunday, October 30th, until 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. What it means that it's a lottery. So basically it's not first comes first serve, but you have time from October 17 to October 30th, fill out your application. Let's see first who is eligible. And the uh, Hakla website has it very clearly. So person, how many persons in your family? If you have a family of one, you have to make under $41,700. And if your family of eight, the top amount of gross income you can make is $78,650. Again, this is persons in your family. Tax return is the best place to look and determine how many people you have in your family. Let's just say you have a husband and wife, parents, and then you have, let's just say, two dependents, your two kids, and let's just say you have one of your parents, a grandparents for the kids as a dependent. So basically you have, you filing married, filing jointly, it's two people, two kids and a grandparent. So, and three dependent total would be five. For five people, you should be making under $64,350. And this is just an example. So you kind of can figure out how to, look at this number and here it is so you will need to sign up if you have already applied before you have an existing account you would just log in but let's sign up once you click sign up you need to enter your email address do a confirmation email phone number first name middle name if you have last name date of birth create user name, password, and register. Once you went through registration, you will see a screen that says you need to go to your email, the one that you used to register, and you should receive email from Hakla. You need to confirm your email. You need to log in into your email provider, click on Hakla email, it says click here, Thank you for registering. Click here to confirm your account. And once you click there, it automatically logs you in into a Hakla portal. And that's where I'm at right now. And there is this big green button that says apply now. So let's apply. So I have my picture big over the personal information because I am applying for somebody. And obviously, I don't want to share this private information. But you will have your first name, your last name, your date of birth, and now you need to select your race. Once you filled out your personal information, next page going to ask you, do you have a spouse or co-head information? And here, that's what you enter. If you married and you live with your spouse, you would say yes. And if you're single, you would say no. So it's either yes or no. And uh, since I said yes, I would fill out all this information regarding the spouse. It's first name, last name, date of birth, sex, ethnicity, disability status, relationship. So let me show you something. So let's just say male and ethnicity, non-Hispanic. 
disability no in our case relationship it would be spouse because they are married then you will select is it u.s citizen u.s legal resident non-legal resident and don't forget to fill out first names if it's legal resident you will have a social security number and uscis alien registration number and again the, you will pick race as well once you filled out personal information about the head of household the spouse it brings you to household information and that's where you need to enter how many family members including you live in a household in my example it's only two it's husband and wife so if you have kids or any other dependents adult dependent relatives who live with you and who are your dependents you will put the total number here including you next question is what is the total annual income for all household members from all the sources again if you filling out the tax return every year this is a number that you get from your tax return this is the best number to get uh, if you do not fill it out the tax return you will have to calculate your total annual income and put the number here this total annual income will include social security payments ssi payments anything and w2 payments 1099 payments whatever money you receive you will put a so annual amount of income right here so right here you list information you're just answering questions are you homeless what's your current address what's your current state what's your phone number if you have alternative phone number is your current address where you receive your mail once you fill out your contact information, there is additional questions. So let's look at these additional questions together. Do you live in the city of Los Angeles? Yes. Do you work or have you been hired to work in the city of Los Angeles? So you either work or you don't work. Are you or a member of your household a veteran of the U.S. Army? No, in our case, what's your primary spoken language? There is a bunch of languages here that you can select whichever language you speak in the house. Is a child under the age of 13 living in this your household? It's yes or no. Do you allow for your information, name, email address, phone number to be shared for housing research studies? So it's up to you. You can say yes yes with the limited purposes no whatever you feel comfortable and how did you hear about hakla section 8 waiting list opening and let's see there is different options here as well and you can pick whichever one you heard once you get to the summary page you will just look through your answers and then you check mark that you certified that you answered everything truly and correctly and you do save and continue and this is it and you get a submission confirmation you get a number you get a date when it was applied and pretty much you can print it um, for your record and let's see what it says here how do we know what's happening so you have successfully applied here is your confirmation number you will receive an email notifying if you were or were not selected for section 8 waiting list lottery by december 1st after december 1st applicants who require assistance because of disability or language can call the number and um, they will be helped. But basically what it says is that you just need to wait for email and by December 1st, you're gonna know either you won a lottery or not. Winning a lottery meaning that you will be placed on a section eight waiting list. It's not winning a voucher. It's just having a place on a waiting list. And then it's going to take X amount of years until you actually 
get to the voucher part. And once you get a voucher, every year a situation is changing. But as of right now, if you do win a voucher, you have 180 days to find the place. And that's basically it with uh, Section 8 waiting list. It's a pretty straightforward application. It's easy. All you need is your information, date of birth, your social security or your alien number, whichever one you have. And you just answer some questions. Good luck. Again, this is not a lottery to get your Section 8 voucher. It's just a lottery to get a place on a waiting list goes very fast and from the last experience i think it was in 2017 when the waiting list was open i know somebody who did uh, win the place on the waiting list and they right before covid i think they got their voucher so about in three years they were able to get their voucher and find the place to move in good luck and uh, thank you and don't forget to subscribe.